Welcome to Life Effects, the channel where I do stuff with effect. Well, I have a wonderful electronic invention I want you to see. see, see. It, it looks something like this. I am excited to introduce a new Let's VFX series where I take you with me on my journey to learn Houdini. If you stuck with me for a while now, you know that I usually use After Effects, which I still do, but I want to extend my knowledge. And Houdini seems to be the right choice here. There are things that I want to do in my own projects, which are just not possible in After Effects. Houdini has a node-based approach instead of layers. It offers capabilities in modeling, animation, rigging, particle simulations for fire and liquids, dynamics for destruction, fur, and the list goes on. The best thing about SideFX, the company who developed Houdini, they offer an apprentice version which enables you to start learning without paying anything. That version is free to use and you can start learning the software. And if you really want to get started with Houdini, you update to the Houdini Indie license, which has a similar subscription model like Adobe's Creative Cloud. As long as you don't earn more than 100,000 bucks a year, and just let's assume Life Effects will do so for quite a while, you can use the Indie license for, I think it's 200 bucks a year. This still sounds like a lot of money, and it is. But remember, it enables you to use the same software that the professionals use. But now to this specific project. I want to learn how to use this software. So I got me a course from Rohan Dalvi, a great tutor who offers several tutorials, some even for free. I want to tackle this course to create the floating islands of Houdini and I'm gonna take you with me on this journey. This video series will show you a beginner's perspective on Houdini and the tools you're gonna need to create this. Of course, I can't show you the course material, but you can find it in the link below. I will do my best to take a different approach to get a different and unique result. His course will still be relevant because he does a really great job explaining how the several steps come together and how they work. Of course, I will also explain what I do, but it will just not be the same. In my videos, you will more or less accompany me while I create the floating islands and see where I struggle and where I need to alter the workflow. And I will need to do that because this course was created for Houdini version 13 and recently version 16 got released. A lot of changes. So stay tuned for hopefully a great series about learning Houdini and how to create the floating islands. Here on Life Effects. I see you next time.